So, you think there's just high fructose corn syrup in your soda. Well, there may be a little bit of a twist to it, and not necessarily a good one. In fact, so much of a twist, you actually can put it almost on the conspiratorial side. Well, what happened, this is published in the Journal of Nature, uh, Nutrition, this uh, June 3rd, 2014. What researchers did, and this is researchers from basically the Keck, just C E, School of Medicine, and a division of USC. What they discovered was this. They looked at 34 sodas and fruit juices. And what they discovered was this. When they looked at these sodas for high fructose corn syrup, high fructose corn syrup, where they're trying to claim is the other sugar, high fructose corn syrup has a fructose to glucose ratio normally of 55, whoops, 5 fructose to 45 glucose. And they're saying that's close to table sugar. Table sugar being sucrose, which is a 50 50 blend. Well, what they found in your soda, or soda, is not high fructose corn syrup and not sucrose. They found a whole new formula. It's 60% fructose and 40% glucose. Way beyond what high fructose corn syrup is supposed to be. And they found it in a multitude of sodas. Even worse, in soda, that they claim to be high fructose corn syrup free. The ones that said they were free of high fructose corn syrup, now remember, for table sugar, it's about 50-50 blend. 50% fructose, 50% glucose. They found a much higher than 50% fructose. So what the researchers were claiming is that these high fructose corn syrup sugar free, I mean, free sodas may not be free of fructose. That someone is lying. Not only that, they're finding out someone is lying in regards to this, and they're lying in regards to high fructose corn syrup itself. Or, multitude of these companies, from 7-Up to Pepsi to Coca-Cola, are all making the exact same mistake, and someone's pulling the wall over their eyes, and selling this, this concoction, what they don't call, which is beyond high fructose corn syrup, a 60% fructose and 40% glucose. The, why, the reason this is important, when you start messing around with this glucose to fruct, uh, fructose to glucose ratio, you start doing a lot of weird things to the body. Shutting down appetite satiety, causing diabetes, potentially cardiovascular disease, the whole lot. Of it. And when you consider that the average American, that man, woman, and child in the United States, consumes 45 gallons of soda a year, this 60-40 combination, which is being found in all your sodas, now becomes a very potentially toxic combo. So, my only advice, if they're saying they're high fructose corn syrup free, but they're coming up with over 50% fructose, or if they're even claiming to be high fructose corn syrup, an investigation needs to be opened because someone is doing something to somebody which is really bad, especially since it affects most Americans in the United States. In the meantime, my only option is don't drink soda, don't drink a lot of the fruit juices. Oh, the fruits, by the way, are not all fructose. They're a combination of fructose, glucose, sucrose, lactose, maltose, all across the board. So when you think of fruits just being fructose, that's incorrect. They're a combo. Some are very low in fructose, some a little bit higher. But otherwise, that's about it. Again, Keck School of Medicine, USC, published in the Journal of Nutrition this June 3rd, 2014. Please heed my advice. Just stop drinking all of it, except whatever. All right? Thank you.